Dear Lauren, we both know how the story goes. We locked eyes at the bar and immediately felt a connection between us. You were gorgeous and liked sports. I thought that was all I needed to know, but you sweetened the deal with your charm and humor too. I've always believed in cliche lines like, the best things happen when you least expect it, and big things come in small packages. With you, both of these cliches are true. Dear Trevor, when I was a little girl, I dreamed of the day I would fall in love with my own Prince Charming and live happily ever after. But as I got older and experienced the highs and lows of life and love, my longtime fantasy started to fade. But on May 2nd, 2014, everything changed. In a crop top and a short skirt, I walked into Buffalo Club for what I thought was going to be an ordinary night. You walked over to me and we proceeded to talk until the bar closed. Well, Trevor, that night you made my heart beat differently. You made me believe once again in true love. You've played many roles throughout our relationship. You've been the planner, the romancer, the teacher, the supporter, and the encourager. But through it all, you've never stopped being my pretty girl. And I'm so proud to call you my wife. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu vekimanu Vehigianu Lazman hazeh Ah 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 Amen Lauren and Trevor, your souls must have known how well they would complement each other from the get-go. You threw caution to the wind when just six weeks into your new relationship, you went on a road trip together for a wedding. Fortunately, the trip was a success and the two of you are now headed towards the greatest adventure of all, building a life together. I, I, <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, take you, Lauren, take you, Lauren, to be my wife, to be my wife. I, Lauren, I, Lauren, take you, Trevor, take you, Trevor, to be my husband, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The two of you are so selfless, but each of you cares so much about the other that your relationship will always end up coming first. My hopes for you on this day are that you will always continue to put each other first that you will always work to create travel opportunities. Enjoy this adventure, the adventure of marriage, when anything and everything is possible. Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine upon you. May you feel God's presence within you always, and may you feel wholeness and peace. And we say together one more time, Amen. Amen. Mazel tov! You may kiss the bride. You are my best friend, 
my once in a lifetime and the love of my life. You have made my life complete. Thank you for all your love, yesterday, today, and for all the years ahead. I love you. You're always and forever, Lauren. Always and forever, you're Falula, Trevor. Someone once said to me that in a marriage, you fall in love many times with the same person. And I wish that for the two of you. Lauren, you're gorgeous. Not only is she beautiful, she has tremendous attributes of strength, loyalty, and kindness. We delight in Lauren's sweetness and her charm. And most of all, more than anything, we delight in your love for our son. Tonight, you don't look like a celebrity. You look like a princess, and I'm so happy you found your Prince Charming. I love you both so much, and cheers to your happily ever after. First and foremost, I promise to always love you, to support you, to encourage you, and cheer for you. I promise to always appreciate you for all the big things that you do and all the little things that feel just as big. I promise to always try and be the best husband I can be. No matter what, you'll always be my pretty girl and I love you so much. Thanks for marrying me. There's a little smiley face. <laughs> There is no finer young man that I have ever known than my son, Trevor Faber. I knew that Lauren had found her soulmate, the love of her life never seen a smile like that in my life the way she does when she's with you when she's talking about you when she's thinking about you trevor this trevor that what are you in love with him or something <laughs> trevor you've done more for me than you can ever imagine you'd made me laugh so hard i cried You've been there for me in life's unexpected moments, like when I broke my wing, as you called it. You not only surprised me at the emergency room. <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> 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 but you did not even leave after you realized I didn't know a fracture meant I broke my bones. <laughs> but most importantly, with five simple words, Lauren, will you marry me? You made all of my hopes and dreams I had since I was a little girl come true. Without a doubt, you make me a better person, and I know each and every day how lucky I am to have you as my best friend, my once-in-a-lifetime, and my husband. I knew you were marrying the right girl, and I knew that your reasons were the right reasons, and the reasons were you didn't have any reasons, it just felt right, and that's all there is to it. Trev, it's obvious how much you love Lauren, and to loosely quote the comedy classic Wedding Crashers, I know you'll be Lauren's first mate, her anchor in her sail, her starboard in her port. I would like to propose a toast, Lauren and Trevor. Let's raise our wine to toast our couple like we should. Lauren, you are so fine. And Trevor, you are everything so good. 